Now, we talked about non-repudiation, right? So what was that about, non-repudiation? What was non-repudiation? We talked about this. James, what's non-repudiation? Repudiate means what? What? Yeah? So not, not being able to argue with like the fact of what? The fact that they said the message. Exactly, yeah. So that's what non-repudiation is, right? So you're not able to say that, I didn't send the message. That was non-repudiation, right? So the question is, does HMAC actually guarantee non-repudiation or not? What do you think? Yes or no? No? Why? Yeah, so the key could be compromised, yes, exactly. Is that what you were going to say? Yes. So HMAC cannot guarantee non-repudiation. What about this signature, yes or no? Is the answer yes? Why? Because? Because it has to use the um, uh, certificate. Right, because there is this third party, right, certificate authority that guarantees the relationship between the key and the organization, right? So that's why, yes. Did you have a question? No. Okay. <laughs> so fails non-repudiation, supports non-repudiation because of the certificate authority, right? Remember that, right? Okay. And in order to provide the support for non-repudiation, you can do it either through the internet layer or application layer, either one of the two. Okay, that's a possibility. So through the internet layer, the expensive way of doing it, remember? Which was using the digital signatures and the uh, also the certificates. So packet by packet authentication and integrity verification, you can do it based on each packet being sent. Okay, that's one way of doing it. You can do it also at the application layer level. By the way, do you guys remember what the layers are again? The network layers? Physical, data link, network or internet? Transport, Transport application, right? So application layer wise, you can still do the same thing, but in the internet layer, since we're talking about mainly talking about the packets, we can actually do the uh, packet by packet authentication and the integrity check. You can do it there, okay? Or you can just do it at the message level uh, used by your applications at the very top, either way. Okay. So, for example, something like this, right? We talked about, I think we started talking about something called IPSEC, right? Remember? Transparency, last time? No, so, we covered it. I think we stopped right there. Yeah, we right, we, but we, we started talking about that. We were talking about VPN, right? So something like IPSEC, I'm going to be covering the rest of it today, but uh, IPSEC actually uses this. Okay, IPSEC is really using the internet layer. Okay, and TLS and then secure socket layer, that's actually using which layer? Do you guys remember? Not application layer. What was that? Transport layer, yes, exactly. So. When you do this at the application layer, okay, um, again, you can actually do this with a digital signature because you can actually, what, sign the document being exchanged at the application layer. You don't have to worry about the packets, but you, you can just focus on the message itself, okay, whatever document is coming through the applications, okay. Does that make sense?